Hi, Carlos. Ay, Carlos. Carlos, ¿me escucha? Encienda su micrófono, porfa. Ay. Ay. Ay, ¿me escucha? Carlos. Yes, teacher. Ay, no. Hola, hola. Ay, good Qué evening. barbaridad. Hello. Justo al cuarto, teacher. Uy, <risa> Ay, no. Del cuarto a la sala, de la sala a la cocina, de la cocina al baño. Está perro. Está... Perdón, permítame oh, que estaba escribiéndole a Jonathan para que nos ayudara con esto. Ok, hi, I'm sorry. Teníamos ahí una dificultad que realmente no sé cuál era, pero ya estamos adentro. All right, very good. Ok, guys, so good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hi, everybody ok? Yeah. All right, very yes. good. Yes. Okay. Qué bueno ver a Carlos, Emilio por ahí, a Eli que no estuvo ayer tampoco, ni Elmer. My goodness, Adrián. Teacher, me dormí. Ah, very good. Es que hice ejercicio en la tarde y me quedé muerta. <risa> okay. That's okay. Bueno, lo bueno que fue por algo, algo súper bien para usted. <risa> All right, very good. Okay, guys, so we're going to continue the topic. Remember that yesterday we were talking about indirect questions with WH and yes, no questions. Yes? Yes. Excellent. All right, very good. Okay, so we're going to continue. Yesterday I told you that we were going to do some practices today. So that's the idea. We're going to do some exercises. Uh, apply what we learned yesterday and the class before and then we're going to go on to section number four which is the first topic which is simple past versus past continuous okay so that's like that's what we're good that's what we're going to be doing tonight two things the exercises about yesterday's class and also uh the right I'm really sorry about this uh, delay, guys. I hope it doesn't happen again, but it has nothing to do with me. I was like here on time and everything. Okay, so let's see, guys. I'm gonna make groups right now, okay? And I'm gonna show, oh no, you know what? Hold on, before that. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be working on. And this is the one, yeah, this is what we're working on today, okay? So can you please take a picture? right now because I want to start like um, to start doing this exercise yes so can you take a picture all the way to number 10 number 10 can you take a picture right now or a screenshot or anything hey, teacher. Mm -hmm. thank you <laughs> ready guys ready yeah. all right and i'm gonna i'm gonna show you the other picture that i want you to take which is this one so from 10 to 14 so we have 14 questions okay there you have the beginning of the indirect question and then you, you remember that you need to see or you need to identify the tense that we're using. And according to that, then you can go on doing the rest of the question. Okay. Are we ready? Ready, guys? Hola, hola. Como entramos tarde, hoy andan así bien calladitos. Ya se querían dar a la fuga todo. All right. Very good. Okay. Uh -huh. La ley del cuarto. La ley del cuarto va a creer usted. All right, very good. Eso de las, solo en las presenciales aplica. All right, very good. Okay. 
Let's go. Let, let's start. Please open your rooms and I'm going to be going to everybody's group to see how you're doing. And after that, we're going to check it together and then we're going to begin the topic of today's class, section number four. Ready? Ready. Okay. There you go. Okay. Hi, Selena. Hi. Hi, Selena. I'm we sorry, but no? I, my inter internet failed. Okay, that's okay, Selena. Don't worry about it. They just went to the breakout rooms. Right now, Selena, we're working on uh, some exercises related to indirect questions, okay? And after okay. that, we're going to come back, we're going to check the exercises, and then we will begin the section number four, okay? Okay. So Thank I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to send you right now to room number two. Okay. Hi, Anna. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. All right. Thank you for being in class. I'm going to send you right now to uh, one of the breakout rooms, okay? Okay. What we're doing right now, Anna, they're working on exercises related to the topic we studied yesterday, indirect questions. Yes. And then okay. we're going to come back. We're going to check them together, and then we're going to begin section four, okay? Okay. All right. So I'm sending you Thank right you. now. Yeah, you're welcome. This is room number four. All right, there you go. Hi, Adriana. Hi, Jose. Hi, teacher. Is Jose frozen? No, no, he's moving. <laughs> Jose, you're not frozen? 
All right. Uh, have problem with the audio, I think. Oh, okay. All right. So you cannot work together? No, <laughs> I didn't listen. Oh my goodness. Jose, can you hear us? He saw me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's going to write on the chat. Yeah. Well, maybe Adriana, you can work with him, like using the chat, maybe, so you can like yeah. write write the question, and see, and that you can see also. <laughs> okay, is is are you doing that or Jose is doing that? Jose. Okay. Jose share. He's yeah, it's Jose's um screen. Yeah, he's here. Mm -hmm. So maybe like by chatting, you can do it. Um, Adriana, maybe by like chatting, you may like do it. Okay. Hello. How are you? Yes. Hi, Walter. Hi, Rocio. Hi, Selena. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Let's see number one. You can work. I'll, I'll read it, okay? Yes. The first three can ones. Explain, can you explain how it works? Can you explain how it works? Uh -huh. Very good. Doing good. My goodness. <laughs> Excellent. Very okay. good. Well Thank done. I'm gonna good. I'm gonna Thank go you. check another group and I'm coming back in a in a while so we can check it again, okay? But you're okay. doing Thank you. Okay. Okay, no. I think. Okay. Can you okay, let Anto. me know? Hello, Anna and Ramos. How are you? Fine, teacher. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Uh, in the in the second teacher, I have a doubt. Tell me. Uh, it is good to say. Can you let me know if? You come into the party, R? Uh huh. Is no. is good? No. 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 I don't, because I don't remember. Can. Okay. Can you tell me? Uh, can you let me know if you're coming to the party? It's the same. When you're using if and whether, uh, you, everything stays the same. The only thing that you do is that you add the if or whether between the uh, polite expression and the rest of the uh, but it stays the same it's the same with the third one mm -hmm. uh, how example, does it work can you explain can you let how does it work no in that one you need to omit the does can you uh, tell me how, how, it work? how it works that's how it right works. how it works yes Oh, okay. It's only when you use if or whether that stays the same. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, very good. All right, let me know if you need any yeah. any other help, okay? I'm going to go check in another group to see how they're doing. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. Maybe, okay. uh, maybe Gerardo. Thanks, I'll, I'll, teacher. I'll, Thanks. You're welcome. Maybe you can have, like, um, you can work and I can see it when I come back. Like maybe one of you can like do like on word the exercise or something or not fun or something that you can use. No. Otro nombre. Es que no. Hello, Eli. Hello, teacher. Hello. I'm I'm Don't worry uh, about it, Jennifer. It's okay. Yes, eh, aquí estábamos no eliminando bien. con Elmer. Ah, no. <risa> Menos mal que entró bien. Ah, según la regla, pasamos el verbo to be al final. Al final, ok. ¿Para qué oración, yeah. Jenny? Where the station. Can you tell me where the station is? Where the station is, yes. That one, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. and the number two, two. No, in that one, no, because you're using if. So everything stays the same, Jenny. No, in number two, mm -hmm. are at the end of the, to the question. No, in that case, because you're using if. 
Uh, can, uh, you tell, yeah. can you let me know if you're coming to the party? You are. Ah, yes. You you switch it from you from are you to you are, but you don't make the are all the way to the end. Yes. Si lleva W question, ajá. Pasamos el verbo al final. No, si lleva el doble. No, 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 no. Si lleva, a ver, ni Elmer ni usted estuvieron ayer, ¿verdad, Eli? No. Okay, a ver. Si sí, tenemos, por ejemplo, cuando hablo, hablamos de WH questions, como la primera, where, the, where is the station, ahí lleva un verbo be. Esa, uh -huh. en ese caso, sí va a agregar, el, el verbo be lo va a quitar de donde está y lo va a tirar al final. Okay, you nice. tell me uh -huh. where the station is. Esa es una. Uh -huh. Otra, cuando usted ocupa if o whether, el resto de su pregunta, que da igual, lo agrega el if entre medio de la polite expression, que es, can you let me know, o can you, can you let me know, esa es la polite expression y el resto de la oración. Agregamos el if en medio. Can you let me know if you are coming to the party? Al, lo que le damos vuelta es el are you, the you are, ¿verdad? Ok. Luego, cuando tenemos how does it work, all right, cuando llevamos auxiliares como do, does, did, y lo pasamos a la indirect questions, omitimos el no, auxiliar. Omitimos el, el auxiliar. Exacto. Y el das. verbo recibe el cambio. Como es presente simple. A gerundio. No. No. Presente, no. Al, al presente simple. Porque en, estamos, en este caso estamos usando does. How does it work? Ajá. Identificamos él y Elmer que el does lo hace presente, ¿cierto? Uh -huh. Pero como lo voy a quitar en mi, en mi indirect question, can you explain how... It works. El das, quito el das, entonces el verbo necesita el cambio en automático porque es presente simple. Si fuese pasado, pongo el verbo en pasado y omito el did. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Ya. Yeah. Elmer, ¿cómo va? Hoy está calladito. Entonces sería... How, no, can you explain how it works? How, That's right, it how, it works. Works. how it works. How it works, yes. How it works. How it works. And number four, sería, mm -hmm. please tell me what. No pueden ir escribiendo. El madre se lo, lo, lo escribe. Pero no sé, no. Sí, pero es que ahí tiene la imagen. Yo los estoy escribiendo aquí, pero. Ah. ¿Y el mercito que se ha hecho? que está callado ahora? A ver, quizás se levantó. Sí, ajá, digamos, sigamos, sigamos. Aquí estoy, teacher, aquí estoy escuchándole <risa> todo lo que están hablando de mí. <risa> ajá. Yo la, yo la estoy escribiendo, después la voy a compartir. Ah, en ok, el ok. Cualquier cosa me avisan, ok. Voy a regresar en un ratito para ver cómo van. Yes, bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Ellie? Adios. Adios. And number. She. Ratchet. 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 Where has she? Ratchet. Ratchet. What number are you working on? Ratchet. In number seven. Number seven. Has she reached? Uh, reached. In Has she reached a decision yet? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, yes, yes, David. We, we have a question. Yes, In ask this me. case, mm -hmm. and, the, and the number six, Yeah. for example, uh, indirect question yeah. is does, does, yeah. mm -hmm. but in this case, mm -hmm. uh, we need to add the S in the birthday. That's right, yes, of course. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, because okay. you omitted the auxiliary, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and in this example, Carlos, number seven has... Uh, guys, the... Carlos, I'm sorry, Carlos and David, can you check number two? Uh, yes, this? Yeah, number two, check that one. There's a mistake there. You're missing something. Can you let me know if... You come into the party. Uh, you come into the party. Are 
No, because you're using if. I don't remember. Uh -huh. yes. David, yeah, David, remember that when you use if or whether, you leave everything the same. The only change, that, uh, David, is that you're inserting or you're adding if between the two, uh, the two sentences. So you said, uh, you say, can you let me know if you are coming? I changed positions between Change. are you to you are. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Thank you, thank you, mm -hmm. and... All right, I'm gonna go um, to see another group, okay? I'm coming back. Okay. Thank you. Jose, Adriana, and Lisset, how are you doing? Very difficult, teacher. <laughs> what happened, Anna? Adriana? Sorry, what happened? And Lisset? Word to the chat is very difficult. Okay. Teacher, I just hi, come Lisette. and I. Hello, teacher. Hi, hi, hi Lisset. How are you? Nice. Uh, but I just come and I don't have the exercise. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna share right now so you can take a picture. Please. Okay, Jose, I'm gonna stop sharing your screen right now, okay? For one moment. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> All right, there you go. Um, Lisette, you can take a picture right now. Hold on, just give me a second. Yes, I go. Okay. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. And there are two more, Adri, Ali said, sorry. Oh, okay. 13 and 14, yeah. Es que no cabe en una sola. It's okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Lisa, do you, I mean, Lisa, Adriana, do you need help? Do you want me to help you? Uh, yes, teacher, because I don't stand in the class. We're not in Just... class yesterday, right? Oh, Adrian, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> okay, veamos entonces. Um, Jose, can you share your screen, please? Jose, Jose. No, I'm gonna share my screen then again. Okay. Okay. Adrian, um, Ad Adriana said that we can hear to Jose. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think he's having problems today with the, with his audio. All right. Let's see, Adriana. Here. Um. Yes. Jose está en el grupo, Adriana. I'm sorry. The yes. WhatsApp. Yes. Okay. Yesterday, I sent the presentation. Si tiene chance, maybe you can watch it, okay? And the video is already up, so maybe you can watch it too, para que le ayude un poquito. Okay, so here, um, Adri, what we do is, these are, we're working with indirect questions, okay? So there's, there are some rules that we need to remember, okay? So for example, number one, where, where is the station? You have to say, esta primera parte se llaman uh, polite expressions, okay? Entonces decimos, can you tell me, y luego agrego lo demás. Si usamos el where, en este caso, pero estamos usando el verbo be. Ok, I'm sorry. Eh, dec decimos, can you tell me where the station is? Pasamos el verbo is at the end. All right, so we say, can you tell me where the station is? En lugar de decir, can you tell me where is the station? No se hace así. Se tira el is. Can you tell me where the station is? All right. For number two, decimos, are you coming to the party? Podemos usar el if y el weather. Si usted va a venir. All right. Entonces yo le digo, can you let me know if you are coming to the party? Ahí me queda igual, el, el, me queda igual excepto que hago la, el, el switch de are you to you are. Como son indirect questions, de una otra forma, Son preguntas indirectas, entonces mi orden de pregunta cambia un poquito, ¿ya? Yeah. 
Eh, for number three says, how does it work? Okay, ahí le decía yo a sus compañeros ayer that we need to understand, or first we need to identify the verb tense, okay? So how does it work? We know that that one is simple present, okay? Because we have the auxiliary does, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, but when, when, when you switch it to indirect question, to do is you omit or you remove or you take away the does, okay? And then because you don't have any more auxiliary, you need to add the S to the verb at the end. So you say, can you explain how it works? Okay? Okay. All right? Y así sucesivamente con las demás. What's the matter? Please tell me what the matter is. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? I would like to know where you are from. All right? Y así vamos trabajando las demás. Lisette se estuvo en clase ayer y también José. Solo que José tenemos problema con audio. Pero si todavía le queda duda, me avisa. Adri, oye. Ok, teacher. Voy a ir a ver a Gerardo porque necesita ayuda ahorita. Uh -huh. Hi Gerardo. Hi teacher. Hi, you have a you have a question? Yes. Yes. I want to check. Okay. Check. Oh nice. Okay. Let's see. Can you explain how it works? Very good. Please tell me what the matter is. Perfect. I would like to know where you mm, yeah, we're having problem with that one. Hold on. Number six, do you know where you do you do you know where you are from? Ah, from is the last. Yeah. I like to know where where, where you're from. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Inside said where you I like to know where you're from. Are. Yeah, no. Where you from? Where you from? Only that. Uh -huh. with the yeah, so I would like for number five and without nine. with mm -hmm. without R. Yeah, I mean, you need to use it, but listen, number five and number six, I would like to know where you are from. Okay, okay. because we have the preposition and we need the preposition at the end. <laughs> <laughs> And the same thing with number six. Do you know where you, uh, what was number six? Do you have number six? What was the original sentence? Was that the original sentence? Yeah, the, the original, original sentence. Uh-huh, uh -huh. the, the original question. I should show you whether. The number? Number six. Number six, how long does it take to get there. Oh, so you have it. I mean, what, what you show me is different. How long does it take to get there? Do Check you, number six. You know? Because number six yes. is not correct, guys, on, the, on, the, on your answers. It's not correct. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's not correct. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> And the seven one. Do you know? Do you know how long? Do you know how long, long it takes? takes? No, I, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm I make you okay. <laughs> Your mistake. That's okay. That's okay. Mistake. A typo. Big typo. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how long it takes? Excellent. Get yes. There. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how long it takes I'm to get sorry. there? Very good. Now that's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, the number oh, has she told whether has she reached a decision yet? Um, has she told you whether she has reached a decision yet? You whether is the same rule. Remem yeah. yeah, remember with if and whether you leave everything the same. All right, you just make the switch. Has she? She has. Okay. So has she told you whether, aparte tiene que check the spelling for whether, has she told you whether she has reached a decision yet? And decision also, the spelling. 
Mm, okay. Do you happen to know the capital of Honduras? Very good. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> the idea, what you doing are? What number are you working you on, doing? my friends? Not yet. Any idea what you doing? What you doing now? Uh -huh. No, la teacher que dijo, no dijo nada. No, 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 ¿qué pasó? Yes, ¿Qué pasó? Sí. Perdón. Ah, no. <risa> no oí lo que dijo. Ya hemos terminado. Ah, ahorita no. Vamos por la once. Ah, oh, sí, ya casi. La doce. Do you have any idea what you doing are? No. Yeah. No. Do you have any idea what you are doing? Ah, change the, the... What you are doing. What are you doing? No. What you are doing. El cambio oh. lo recibe ahí. Yes. What you are doing? Number okay. 12. I don't suppose. All right, are we are we all back here, guys? Yes. All right, very good. Okay, so I, I don't know if you were able to finish, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna check them right now. So these are the answers. Check, let's check them together and let's see if this is what you have. I'm just gonna make it a little bigger here. Um, let me see. I'm gonna read it to you so you can check it, okay? Again, si gusta este, este archivo, se lo puedo mandar también. Can you please move, 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 move down a little bit, please? Move what down? In, in order to see, yes, not to see uh, uh, for oh, two. No. The whole, the whole. Okay, uh, I'm yes, just going to yes. read number one right now so I can be moving it down, all right? Okay. Okay, so for number one, it says, where's the station? Can you tell me where the station is? That's number one. Okay. Number two, are you coming to the party? Can you let me know if you're coming or if you are coming to the party? Number three, how does it work? Can you explain to me or can you explain how it works? El to me puede ser opcional, that's why it's in brackets. Can you see, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. okay, very good. Yes, teacher. Number uh, four, what's the matter? Please tell me what the matter is. Where are you from? I would like to know where you are from. 
How long, how long does it take to get there? Do you know how long it takes to get there? Number seven, has she reached a decision yet? Has she told her she has reached a decision yet? Number eight, do you know the capital of Honduras? Do you happen to know the capital of Honduras? Number nine, does Annie know about computers? I wonder whether Annie knows about computers. Excuse me, how do you get to the post office from here? Could you tell me or could you tell us or could you tell uh, how you get or how we get or how to get to the post office post office from here? Ahí vamos jugando con pronombres, ¿verdad? But that's, it depends what you're asking. Number 11, what are you doing? Do you have any idea what you're doing? Could you lend me 50 um, euros? I don't suppose you could lend me 50 euros. Could you take me to the airport? Is there any chance you could take me to the airport? Number 14, does Susana like classical music? I can't remember if Susana likes classical music. Okay? Okay. All right, so remember that it takes a little practice to like really understand this, but I think because I was checking as most, I mean, all of the groups, I could say that you guys are like going on the right track, okay? Okay. Si gusta igual al final, I can send you this um, document so you can like check it again, okay? Please. Okay. Yeah, all right, very good. Okay, guys, so we're gonna begin right now, section four. Okay, so section four, the first grammar topic that I want to mention is simple past versus past continuous, okay? So that is the first topic we're going to see right now. Uh, let me just this here. Just give me a second. I'm going to download it here. Let's see. Okay, so here we go. So I have, oh, there you go. I have this one. Okay, so here we have a simple past versus past continuous. That's the first grammar topic that I wanna talk about for section four. So today we're officially beginning section four, okay? When do we use each tense? That's the first thing that we need to know when to use Simple past and when to use past continuous. In a way, we have seen this before, all right? So you need to know this a little bit. Let me see, Selena, can you read, use the simple past for? Was for his actions that happened in the past and in order done finish. Okay, very good. Then we have used the past continuous for. Uh, Rocio, can you read it, please? Uh, use the past continuous for action that was in progress at a specific point in the past. Uh -huh. Or? Or mm -hmm. to focusing, focusing mm -hmm. on an action that continues for a long time in the past. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna see examples, simple past examples, okay? We have seen this before, guys. Action that was completed, simple past, sorry. Action that was completed in the past. Remember that when we talk about simple past, the action finished, okay? There's no more. I began the action and I finished the action. Tom went fishing last week. Tom, the subject, went the simple past verb. Fishing is a gerund, it's not a verb. Last week, all right? Number two, I worked until 2 p.m. yesterday. I, the subject, worked is the simple <coughs> past regular verb until 2 p.m. yesterday. Number three, my family came last year. Came is the verb. Now, in all these three sentences, the action begun and the action finished. Okay, no more. It just did not continue. It finished. Okay. Time expressions frequently used with the simple past. We say yesterday, last, uh, last night, last month, last week, last weekend, last year. 
all right, or past dates in 1990, in 1985, in 19, I don't know, 78, or whatever. You can also use ago, like two days ago, five years ago, two weeks ago, a month ago. Every time you use ago, last, yesterday, or a specific dates, we're talking about simple past because the action began and it finished. Do you understand that? Yes, teacher. Excellent, yes, teacher. very good. Yes. Past continuous, all right? Action that was in progress at a particular point in the past. Okay, now the action was happening. The past continuous is very much the same as the present continuous. Present continuous is I'm doing right now, I'm teaching, you're listening to me. But in the past continuous, the action is in the past, but it was in progress when something else happened. So at 2, at 2 p.m. yesterday, Tom was playing soccer. Or I say Sophia wasn't home last night when I called her. I think she was working. Lisa and her husband were visiting us last week, right? So if you notice, if I say, Sophia wasn't home last night when I called her, I think she was working. So maybe the action was not finished, all right? Lisa and her husband were visiting us last week. Again, the action is not over, okay? Uh, David, can you read grammar structure, please? Okay, grammar structure. Uh, here are some reminders about how to make the simple past and past continuous. Thank you. All right, so we have the past continuous. All right, Jennifer, can you read this, please? The past continuous, don't forget that verb B is part of this structure. Structure. I, yes. He, mm -hmm. yes. I, he, she, it, was, mm -hmm. plus verb, I, and G. Thank you. Yes. And you with a where plus verb, I, and G. That's right. Okay. So remember <laughs> the same thing as in the past, present continuous, we need to use the verb be. In this case, because we're talking about past continuous, we need to know, we need to use was or were. We don't use am, um, is, are because it's not uh, present. It is past continuous, okay? And then the verb with ing. So I was working, uh, he was playing, they were listening, we were studying, um, he was fighting, all right? So remember that we need to use the verb be plus the ing of the verb to make it past continuous. Do you have any questions so far? No. No, no. questions? All right, Jenny, no questions? Okay. Rocio, no questions? David, Eli, Elmer, no, no. no questions? Okay, very no. good. No, okay. Okay. We need, we know that. Hasta ahorita. <laughs> <laughs> All right, examples. Aha, uh -huh, Ellie, my mom. My mom was trying, <clears throat> perdón. That's my okay. mom was trying to call me last night, but I wasn't home. Okay, all right, number, uh, next example. Let me see. Adriana, can you read it, please? The kids were starting last night at 9 p.m. Okay, very good. Carlos Emilio, can you read I was? Carlitos, your microphone, thank you. I, I was cleaning my house all day yesterday. Excellent, all right, very Bye. good. Okay, Selena, next one, past continuous, negative Selena, uh-huh. I'll be the word not after the verb be. All right, for this tense, simply add the word not after the verb be. So, Elmer, we have the example they. They were are we arguing last night? Are we arguing. last night? Arguing. 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 They were arguing. No, arguing. Ar <laughs> arguing. Ar arguing. Como yen, la arguing. 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 Excellent. Arguing. 
arguing last night. They uh -huh. were not arguing last night. <laughs> very good. Arguing. Very good. Walter, Argu she was? Uh, she was uh, yelling at me. Mm -hmm. She was not yelling at me. Very good. All right. Very nice. Thank you. Um, Gerardo, can you read this, please? Uh, important not about past continuous. Uh -huh. Some some verbs are not typical typically used in the continuous tense. Instead, uh -huh. we prefer to use these verbs in the simple tense. Okay. Simple present or past. Very good. Okay. This, continue, Gerardo, please. These verbs are called sta stative. Sta stative verbs. Uh huh. Stative or non action verb. Here are some examples. Okay, thank you. So we have want, know, believe, forget, need, like, see, understand, remember, love, hear, have, as in possession, belong, and hate. There are many, many more stated verbs, all right, but these ones are the ones that we're going to be like pretty much working with, okay? Let's see, Anna, Edith, can you, uh, can you read these examples, please? Examples. Uh, I I like rum. I was not. I was liking rum. Okay. So what we're saying? Por qué? Por qué? La importancia de saber de, estos, de, de estos stated verbs. Porque estos no por lo general no los puedo hacer o no los puedo convertir con el ing. Yo no digo I was liking you. Digo I liked you. Mm. O digo I like it. Pero no puedo decir, I am liking pupusas. I like pupusas. All right, I love pupusas. De hecho, no he comido pupusas en toda la cuarentena. Dios mío, me voy a morir. Oh, yes. Dios mío, es un basilio. Pero ¿y a dónde? Dios, yo me estoy muriendo. <risa> Perdón. Congeladas. ¿Ah? ¿A dónde venden? En el, 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 el súper. El súper. Y son electos y... congeladas. Sí, no son, son tan ricas. buenas, no tan. Pero, pero, pero de eso, falta de... Sí, sí, sacan de la pura. Mm. Ok, ver. <risa> hay, hay que Sorry. comprar la materia prima y hacerlas. <risa> Ay, no, pero yo puedo yeah. comprar la materia prima, pero hay que no <risa> tuve. Es posible. Techa. <risa> Perdón, no puedo. <risa> <risa> Me puedo comer <risa> mucho. Masa. Pero... Que le salgan como riguas, no importa. Pues, cuadrada. <risa> All right. Para usted. Ajá, eso es cierto. All right. Niños, para los niños que entraron más tarde de los demás, hoy empezamos la clase a las 10 y cuarto porque tuvimos un mega problema técnico, por eso no nos hemos ido. Ok. All right. No estén así. Yes, I saw in the chat. Ay, no, qué horrible. Bueno, bueno. También. Entonces, regresando al ejemplo sí. de las pupusas, del cual yo estoy sufriendo, decimos, no puedo decir, I'm liking pupusas, o I was liking pupusas. Digo, I like pupusas. ¿Por qué? Porque son verbos que se llaman stative verbs. ¿Y esos qué son? Son verbos que no me representan acción. ¿Ok? Todo verbo que usted le representa en acción, usted lo puede poner con ing. Se oye raro, si usted dice, I am seeing. Se puede, no es que no se pueda nunca, pero por lo general no lo hacemos. All right? Cuando usted está amando a alguien, dice, I'm loving you, pero es más correcto decir, I love you. ¿Ya? Yeah? Yeah. Ok. Eso se llaman stated verbs. Ok. okay? Next example. She had a headache. Continue. ¿Quién está leyendo, Ana o Rocío? Ana. Yes. Ok. Continue, Ana, please. Yeah. She had a headache. Mm -hmm. Not She was having a headache. No, she had a headache. No, she was having a headache. Okay. Very good. And the number okay. three. I know, I know the answer. Mm. Not, it's correct. I was knowing the uh -huh. answer. Yeah. You can, you say I knew the answer. You cannot say okay. I was knowing the answer. All right. 
Past progressive and simple past, okay? Then we have, um, Adri, can you read please? Use past progressive with simple past to describe an action that was interrupted. Interrupted, yes. Interrupted by another action. Okay, so here guys, this is what's very important because before we were studying, like right now we're studying simple past, or remembering, porque obviamente ya lo saben, we were remembering simple past and we were remembering past continuous. But now, what we're going to be doing is joining them together, all right? So we can use both tenses, all right, for one idea, okay? Here. Um, Lisette, can you read the first example, please? Oops, sorry, there. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Um, they were enjoying the morning when the thief stole the the briefcase. The briefcase. All right. Very briefcase. good. Briefcase. Yes, briefcase. So here, guys, as Adriana read, use past progressive with simple past to describe an action that was interrupted by another action. Okay. So that's where they mix together. Okay. So they were enjoying the ice cream, or the, sorry, they were enjoying the morning when the thief stole the briefcase. So here we have the past, uh, we have now, and we have the future. So between this period of time, something happened, all right? So they were enjoying when someone or the thief stole the briefcase. So one action was happening when the other one interrupted, yes? I was trying to get in the class when, I don't know, when he came home, all right? Past progressive and simple past number two. Uh, David, can you read please? Okay, use past progressive for the action, e, for the action in progress, uh -huh. use when, and the simple pass for the action that interrupts. Okay, continue, Adavid, please. The man was reading the newspaper when the thief is snatched. Snatched. Snatched Excellent. his br briefcase. Yes, do you understand what snatched is? No. It's like no. cuando lo agarra de repente, solo lo agarró se fue. Oh. All right, sin permiso. Arrebató. Arrebató. That's the word. Thank you. <laughs> All right, very good. So we have, uh huh. All right, so we have past, uh, the past, and the now and the future. We have was reading in that period of time when something happened. What happened? The thief snatched yes. the briefcase. Okay. All right, so here we have, uh, do, 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 do. let's see. Um, let's do, uh, quickly, let's do these uh, five exercises right now together. Uh, Rocio, can you see number one is talk and drink. What I want you to do, Rocio, is I want you to like use talk or drink. I mean, you talk and drink in a whole sentence where you can use the simple past and also the past continuous, Rosita. Okay. The, uh, I was, mm -hmm. I was talking mm -hmm. with my friend. When, when I drank, uh, I don't know, <laughs> what is, uh, oh, I drinking, ah, I was drinking a coffee when my friend talk about her. Uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> it okay. is okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was drinking a coffee when he talked to me or when I talked to my friend. All right, very good. That's okay. Uh, let's see, we have play and watch. Walter? Hello? Can you, can you do number three for me, please? Play and watch. 
Okay. Uh, we were playing when he when he watched me. Okay. Or he was watching me when I played. All right. So it makes sense. All right. Very good. That's okay. And let's do the last one, number four. Uh, not look and burn. Um, Ellie. Oh, ya se fue Eli. No, ahí está, ya la vi. No. Eli, no, look and burn. Mm. Burn is como quemar. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking. I, did, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking when burn. Uh -huh. bread okay i wasn't looking uh when my my bread burned all right or on my my well, bread burned okay right. mm -hmm. all right very good so i know guys we have seen this before simple past versus past uh continuous but this is helping remember that the idea is for you to practice and review to forget things okay so uh, okay. tomorrow we're gonna do a short exercise with past continuous versus simple past. So we can go on to the next topic of this section, which is past perfect, okay? So thank you so okay. much for being in class with me today. And I'm sorry for the delay, but it wasn't about me or anything, but uh, I'm so glad that you were with me the whole hour. All right, guys, so I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. All right, and it's study. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ah, no. Tomorrow, no. 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 Monday. Oh, yeah, Monday. Yeah, just entre todos los días. Lunes y lunes. La cuarentena, teacher. Es la cuarentena, teacher. Oh, my goodness. Oh, qué tremendo. Pues no, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you Monday. Yeah, it's all. See you tomorrow. <laughs> No, 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 no. I know, mañana voy a con... De verdad, Dios mío. Mañana consigo. Sí, yo voy a hacer y me voy a mandar en el grupo para que se rían de mi pupo. Ok. Bien, right. Ok, bye. See you Monday, alright? Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.